Good morning. It is the weekend. It's cold out now that it's fall, but it's still good. So how's it going, guys? I just woke up, can you tell? So, I don't know, I kind of wanted to, <clears throat> to talk about something real quick. Today's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna go to a pumpkin patch to take Zoe out. It's gonna be fun. Well, well, what do you know? The elections, can you see it? I don't wanna show my address, but that's what I was gonna talk about. The elections are coming. Oh snap. I'm gonna take this off because then people are gonna think, people are gonna think I'm a thug in the neighborhood and I do not want that. That's exactly what I wanted to talk about, the elections. I don't know about you, but a lot of people have been calling me kind of to, to influence me to vote for their party for either city council or city clerk. I don't know. I don't know all the different things that people um, run for. They call you and they don't even care for my opinion. They just want my vote. Like I said, that was going to be my, my topic, you know, for my conversation today. And we got our official sample ballots. Morning. Cute. Oh, cute shoes. So, you want to go afuera? It's a little wet. So, anyways, I got. So, huh? This is agua, see. So I kind of wanted to talk about that. So a few people kind of hit me up. They called me. And there's different propositions, too, that we get to vote for, right? But this, this particular person called me and told me about, I forgot what proposition it was. But it had to do, I think you guys have seen it on TV or on social media about reinforcing like freeways. Like, dude, where do people get these propositions? Like, I've never heard of that one, you know? And what I kind of wanted to talk about is these people, first of all, don't know me, know my number, know my name, know my gender. But they don't know in what age group I fall on or what ethnicity I belong to. Um, they don't know anything about me, right? Which is good. I mean, they, they, I don't want my information out there or whatever, but they do know what they need. But I don't even know who they are. Like, I do not know who they are. I don't know what they're running for. I don't know if they're Democrats or Republican. I don't know what they want. Um, I, I, and, and look, I'm not talking about all, all like candidates for, for, for the city council. Believe me, there's a few that are out there. So my issue is with people who are running for office, yet they don't even care for the community. You no, know, they called me and it was an in-area code number. So I thought it was one of my friends or something. So I answered not knowing it was them. So when I asked, they're like, oh, hey, we're part of blah, blah, blah's team. And we wanted to see if we have your vote. You know, they, we're, running, we're running towards a proposition, blah, 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 you know. And I was just kind of dumbfounded because I didn't know who it was. So I just said, who is this? Like, oh, well, you know, we're just calling people, you know, to see if we can get their vote. Can we get your vote? And I'm like, yes, bye, click. And then later I regret it. I'm like, I should have given them my piece, you know. Because in reality, they don't know who I am. Yet they want my vote, right? As an American, that's a valuable thing, right? My vote. Yeah, they want it, and they don't know who I am, you know? So I kind of just wanted to talk about that. Like, just a marketing tip. I'm not a marketing director, but I am a consumer. So I do care of what happens in the community where I live in. Yet, no one is coming to my door and educating me or coming to my door and asking me what I would like to have, what I would like for the city to do to kind of better the community. I, I do care for the well-being of my child. I do care for the future of my child. So it would be nice for people to actually come to my door, knock and say, hey, we're from this party, you know, we're from so-and-so's team and this is what we want to do. Is there any suggestions? You know, marketing tip, build relationships. And not like lifelong relationships, just build relationships, get to know, get to know your community. You know, a lot of people do that. I don't, I don't know why they do that. Like, I don't know why they don't come and get to know people, right? They're going to be in the office, you know, and I, I don't think they know is I know whoever's running their campaign. I think that's who's actually calling the shots. But still, man, if you want to work in the, in the community, you want to work in the city, Especially as a councilman or councilwoman, 
go out there, meet people. And I'm telling you, there's people who, who do do that. I went to Montebello when, last week. Dude, that whole, there's a whole street in Montebello that you can tell all the like, like council, all the city council like, like directors work in. And if they're running for city council, like they have a huge banner in front of their house, like vote for me, you know, and there's a bunch of Hispanic people, so it's pretty cool. But it seems like that community is like just out there, you know? I, it's, you know, I'm sure there's other communities in LA who do that, but some people do just don't care, you know? So I don't know. I just wanted to kind of vent on that. It was kind of dumb, but it reminds me of the uh, of. It just reminds me of the stuff I used to do, like with church. Like churches actually go door to door, which is a cool thing, you know. But the methods that you use to kind of communicate with people were the wrong ones. Like we went like, when we moved here. Kid you not, the first few weeks, every Saturday, there was like churches coming to our door, inviting us for their event. And, you know, and I obviously, I wasn't rude. I hope your service goes well, you know? Oh, thank you. Hope to see you there. Why would I freaking go to a church that I don't know anyone? Like, I don't think churches understand that. Like, why would you invite people and, and, and lead off with, hey, we're having an amazing event. We're going to have food. We're going to have music. We're going to have, you know, fun stuff for the kids. Like, why would you lead off with that? Like, now that I'm a, a father, like, why the heck would I go to a church when I don't know anyone there? Start thinking. Every time you go somewhere, the reason you would go is because you know someone there. Like, I go to my friend's church all the time because he's my friend. And they do, like, you know, conferences or whatever. And, and I go because he's my friend and he invited me. So because I'm a good friend, I go. But if my friend didn't go to that church, why the hell would I go? You know? So the only way I would go is if people come to my door, knock, and they start to having a conversation with me. Like, hey, you know, we're from a church, but we actually want to do this. We want to do that. Tell me what you want to do in the community. Don't just invite me to, a like, a... A service that has nothing to do with me that will not benefit me whatsoever oh but people need Jesus man then talk to them about Jesus don't talk to them about your freaking church event that people probably don't really care you know just marketing tip but not as a marketing director as a consumer I think that's our problem that we always think we will always want to think how, what a marketing director would do and we lead off with that Oh, we need we need ten thousand dollars to kind of do campaigns or something. It's like uh, you don't do you don't need that. Uh, Think as a consumer, what would a consumer want? Relationships, trust. You know, but what do I know? You know, I'm I'm just giving my piece. I'm not saying everything I say is right. So, you know, if you disagree with me, disagree with me. It's okay. This is just my point of view because I've been on on both sides. I've been on the side of being at church, promoting church. And it doesn't work, right? Believe me, all the events I've ever done since I was like 12 years old, every time we, we, we do like outreach kind of stuff and invite people for a certain event, I, no one comes. You know who are the people who come? Friends of friends. Oh, you know, I heard, oh, yeah, so-and-so invited me, and I brought my whole family, and boom, that's how we get people. So that's a, that's a hint. Relationships, you know? Rela relationships count. You want to build things that last, relationships, you know? So I kind of wanted just to talk, talk about that. Dude, the sun is, like, on my face. Okay. Hi, Zoe. You want to go to Pumpkin Patch? Yeah, come here. So I feel very, um, what's the word that I was thinking of? It's going to take a long time for me to think of the word I wanted to say. Accomplished? I built this little teepee for my baby girl. And she loves it. Let's go in. Let's call her. Reaching up. Zoe. She's coming. Zoe. I'm right here. Hi. Oh, you're gonna close it. My legs are coming out though. Come come right here. Lay down next to Papa. So she took a nap here yesterday. <laughs> uh -huh. Huh? 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. We both don't know the song. Only the first line and the last line. Alright, I gotta get up because. Because, like, my feet come out, like, I'm only here halfway. Look. Because I'm really big. I'm really tall, too. So, just got here. Looks pretty fun. Let me see. I hope it's fun. We'll see. Okay, let's. Hey, let's go. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. All right, go with Mama. Say, Mama, let's go. How pretty it is. So clean. Three musketeers. Musketeers. Look at her. Look. Pig doesn't care. The bunny doesn't like it. That's me and that's Linda. And it's gonna do this one with Zoe. It goes all the way here, then up that other one. I miss it. Go. You okay? Like it? Yeah. 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 We got back from the pumpkin patch maybe a few hours ago. <laughs> I don't know how many, but we took oh I took that weekend nap. Can you tell my eyes are all crusty? Linda's, she's setting up the table right now. What are you doing, little girl? What? God, we're so seasonal. You know it's pretty. 
But anyways, that's all I wanted to do to kind of um, show you what we did today. And yeah. Zoe, you wanna say bye? You wanna say peace? peace? Come here then. Let's say peace. 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 See you next time.